Hey guys, so today we will be taking a closer look at the latest official by Samsung and a 4.3 firmware that has been leaked by Sam Mobile. It is the XXKPA uh, for the GT i9100, in other words for Samsung Galaxy S2. You can go ahead and install it right now. I'm uploading a how to install video right now as we speak, but once this video is uploaded on YouTube, the other one should also be uploaded. So, uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, wait a sec. Activation complete. Okay. Um, sign in. Okay, I'm gonna do that, you know, later. Okay. Next. This is a build that should be faster and more snappier than previous builds. Uh, but okay, so let's check this out. Um, as you can see, they're running TouchWiz uh, here on top of Android 4.0.3. If we go ahead and do it like that, let's see here. Have they done that thing? Let's see. Oh yeah, this is something that seems to be new in this uh, version that you can swipe to remove stuff. That's very cool. And that's something that I'm going to use a lot. Oh, I can't remove that one. I have to set it up. Later. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Okay, let's go ahead and set this up. Pretty quick. Accept. Confirm. Okay, so you have to do that later. Um, if you go ahead and go to settings... Oh, wait a sec. What happens when we... If you go back, if you go ahead and tap right here, okay, as you see, they have it, they don't have that kind of new menu uh, when you do it like that. Okay, that's that's very interesting. They, I think they should have changed that um, because you know I, I like that thing. Uh, if you go back here, uh, good settings. It, it seems like they've changed some of the things over here uh, with the graphics a little bit. I like that. A little more touch with, uh, a little less touch with UI, a little more Android 4.0. But still, I, wa I want that, you know, full experience, uh, you know. If you go ahead and go to the bottom about the phone, you can see a 4.0.3 IML 4074K, 3.0.13 kernel, uh, baseband XXKP8. Uh, yeah, that's the things over there. Uh, if you go ahead and use the display. I hate automatic brightness. Uh, Wait a sec, select screen mode. Okay, pick standard. What else can I show you? I think I can show you guys a lot of things uh, once I have the internet uh, up and running. But, you know, they've changed some things. Oh my god, the keyboard feels really good right now, uh, compared to previous versions. So much, you know, more, like, faster and everything. But, you know, one of the cool things here was, you know, really that you can swipe to remove stuff. That's pretty goddamn awesome. If you go back, I hate this background. Should really change that wallpaper. Live wallpapers. I also hate these thingies. Never use them. But yeah guys, uh, if you want to see something special about this build, I probably can try it out once I have internet uh, up and running. But you know, just a quick look at it, you know, obviously there are, you know, a lot of tweaks and bugs that I don't really know 
if I can show you them, but you know, it feels so much uh, less buggy and everything. Uh, if you go ahead, maybe go to the camera app. And what should we try to take a picture of? Maybe this thingy. Nice little Logitech, Logitech thingy over here. There we go. Um, yeah, but wait a sec. We don't have the panorama mode, I think. So, I mean, th there are a lot of confusions here, uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm not going to be running on, you know, Sammy's official Android for Windows Win 3 with TouchWiz UI, because I hate TouchWiz UI, it really ruins the, this full Android for Windows ice cream sandwich experience as you can get on a Galaxy, on a Galaxy Nexus, and I don't think mine is charged right now. Uh, but yeah, just a quick look at it. If you want to go ahead and try it out for yourself, it's just very easy to install using Odin. You don't have to have root or anything like that. Uh, I think, yeah. But uh, that's awesome. See you guys. Bye bye.